Hi, hi guys. Uh, welcome to our third episode of 18 Area. Uh, you're still with Spusiso, Spusiso Chawoke. So, club football weekend is back, guys. Uh, after the international break, we had a two week break. Uh, we saw how Bafana Bafana played uh, on those uh, two games. Uh, the Afghan qualifiers they drew one game and they won. So, it's four points for Bafana Bafana. And I believe that uh, we are going through to Morocco for the AFCON 2025. So, uh, with episode two, I believe I got my predictions right for the MTN 8. I predicted a Stellenbosch and Orlando Pirates final. And yeah, I was right, guys. So, at least uh, I do get my predictions right. So, club football is back. So, the Premier League. The Premier League, we have uh, our first game for the weekend, which is Manchester United against Southern Team. It's a, it's, a, it's a tough game. Manchester United losing two of their last games. Southern Team, they've never won any game since returning to the top flight. So with that game, uh, I see Manchester United winning the game. They can never lose three games, Manchester United. It's, it's something that I don't see happening. So I'm giving the win to Manchester United. Uh, another game, we've got Liverpool against Nottingham Forest. Liverpool, one of the two teams to have won three uh, games and on, the only team to have not conceded. They've scored seven goals and conceded none. So they are playing against Forest, who drew their last game. So Liverpool are playing at home, and we know how Liverpool are when they play at home. So I see Liverpool winning their fourth game in a row under the new coach. Uh, and hopefully the new signing, uh, Chiesa from Juventus, possibly he might uh, make his debut. So let's just wait and see if that's going to happen. So another game that we have, uh, it's Man City against Brentford. Oh, Man City winning three of their opening games. And Brentford, Brentford won their last game. Uh, so Brentford is a good team. But uh, with Man City and Erling Haaland, yo, I don't see Brentford winning or getting a draw in this game. So I see a Manchester City win of this game. And then another game, we've got Aston Villa against Everton. Everton are uh, another team to have lost three of their opening games, playing against Aston Villa. Aston Villa who won their last game. And Aston Villa playing at home, and they've got a uh, good, re good record when they play at home. So I don't see Everton winning their first game, so it's a win for Aston Villa. And then on Sunday, we've got the North London Derby, which is Arsenal against Spurs. Spurs are playing at home and they lost their last game against Newcastle. Uh, and Arsenal dropping points for the first time against Brentford, uh, no, sorry, against Brighton when they drew one all. With Martin Odegaard injured and Declan Rice suspended for the game. Hmm. It's going to be very, very difficult for uh, Mikel Ateta's side to to win. So I'm giving this to Spurs, guys. Uh, I don't know why, but you know, losing those two players, Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard, well, party will come to the party, but without those two key players, I see Spurs winning this game. So, guys, we are having our first weekend of the South African League. The Bedway Premiership is starting tomorrow. And I'm, I'm so happy. I'm a Chiefs fan, so at least I'll get to see my favorite team playing. And tell you what, each and every prediction where it when it comes to Kaiser Chiefs, I won't lie, guys. I'll give Chiefs the win all day long. So they are playing against Marumo Gallants. Uh, this is where we get to see what the new coach has for, for Kaiser Chiefs fans. They are playing away and hmm, 
I'm giving Chiefs a win, guys. I'm a Chiefs fan, so I'll give them a win any day. Any day, I'll give Chiefs a win. So another game that we have, it's a Royal AM against Cape Town City. So because Cape Town City have been playing, you know, playing against Orlando, Orlando Pirates in the MTN8, and I've seen how they played when they played at home. They were very good. So I see Cape Town City winning against Royal AM. And another fixture, the biggest uh, fixture of game week one, uh, Super Sports United against Mamelodi Sundowns. That's one at Derby. Mm. I'm predicting a draw, guys. Draw for that game. Uh, Gavin Hunt is a good coach. So is Mangova. But a draw. I'm giving that uh, game a draw. Because I've seen how Sundowns played uh, in those two matches where they lost against uh, Stellenbosch. I was not impressed by how they played. And I'm not taking anything away from Sundowns. I know they are good. Uh, they are a good team. They're still trying to adjust to, to, to Manova's tactics, how how they play and all that. Because their previous coach, Roland Mukwena, is gone. So obviously Manova will come with his own style of play so i think the players are still trying to adjust to it so a draw for that game so the last one i think it's a, it's a game on a tuesday or wednesday that's orlando pirates against chipa united they're playing at home pirates we've seen how good they are when they play home so i'm giving them a win orlando pirates to win against chipa united so guys uh Please comment your predictions. Yes, you we know it's a, it's a prediction. It's either you're wrong or you get it right. So please uh, yeah. predict your 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 your, your own uh, score lines. Free game, but few of those you can uh, predict your 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 scores. So it's a uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's nine games that I've predicted. So. Let's see if I'll get any of them correct. But definitely, out of nine, surely two, three, I'll get them correct. I'm definitely sure about it. So, guys, uh, we'll see each other next week. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers, guys. Have a good weekend. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, press the notification bell. Every time we drop a video, you will be notified.